Hello guys, in this second part of the video tutorial I will show you how to create the handle for our screwdriver. Um, so in previous video we have created the first part, so let's uh, continue this tutorial and let's activate the part design workbench and create the model. So uh, we can see the body in our tree, so and the next step let's create the 2D plan in XYZ. So uh, and the first uh, shape we have to create the hexagon and set it in center of intersection the x and y axis and uh, let's set the constraints for this it is horizontal constraint and horizontal dimension it is three millimeters radius and let's make the second shape it will be the chuckle with diameter 7 millimeters okay and after that let's close the sketch we have the fully connected sketch here and let's make the part operation it and set this uh, length of this extrusion and let's uh, choose the surface and create the plane on the surface and on this datum plane let's create this 2d sketch Okay, and on this 2D sketch, we have to create one else circle with seven diameter millimeters. Okay, let's close the sketch and make. We can hide the datum plan, bottom space, and let's make the pad operation for our circle. Let's choose hide our datum plan, and choose the sketch and set 90 millimeters length of the path operation but we have the two different uh, faces here for merge it we have to make the refine true and it will merge two faces here and uh, the next step let's choose the yz plan and create the handle shape for our screwdriver okay let's uh, set two horizontal lens uh, lines and set their position and set the dimension it will be the lens 100 millimeters and the horizontal dimension Eight millimeters, uh, and uh, for these two points, let's set the dimensions uh, length of handle, and let's the length of this line. You can choose one line and uh, choose this dimension constraint. Okay, let's change the some dimensions here. It is ten millimeters, and let's uh, create some lines it will be the shape let's set the dimensions also here three millimeters and uh, after that let's choose the bisplane um, curve and create the shape for our handle so let's right click mouse uh, with close this creation of plane okay and uh, we can change the vertexes and uh, make the correction of the shape okay mm, let's set it like uh, how it like okay and now we have to make this last line in X direction and uh, we will get uh, the some false trouble and let's delete this constraint and we will get the correct sketch here closed case here we have the closed <coughs> to the sketch and let's make the revolve operation for the sketch let's choose the sketch and click this tool icon okay enter revolution operation 
in Z axis here. Okay, so um, we have got our handle shape and now let's make some details on our shape. So let's um, create one else sketch on YZ plane. Click OK. And uh, let's create this um, rectangle. And for this rectangle, let's set some dimensions. I will set some random dimensions for for this model, for this rectangle. Okay, let's think. Let's try 3.5, for example. And so let's set the vertical dimension. Uh, so we can set the position of this rectangle and let's set it here okay let's close the sketch uh, now you will understand what I want to make uh, let's make this grew operation it will cut some uh, um, material from our body and let's grew okay for Z axis okay and for this grew operation we uh, can make the linear array it is also important operation so let's make the direction set the direction and set the length of this array it will be 70 millimeters and uh, choose the direction in Z axis. So if we will activate the reverse direction and click here a number of group operations, uh, so uh, we can create this some interesting details on the shape of handle. Okay, let's click OK and now uh, let's create one else shape okay uh, one else uh, sketch uh, choose the plane why is it plane again and let's create one else rectangle here and click here it is a random position and let's set The dimensions for this click OK so let's set the vertical position and so let's make it some bigger okay let's close the sketch and so let's make the extrusion cut operation this Pocket operation here. So let's set the symmetry plan here. Click OK, and so we have got this cut result operation. And for this, let's choose the Z plane and set the number of circle array operation it will be easy 26 wait some minutes because it is long operation okay so uh, we have got uh, this uh, interesting shape for our handle of screwdriver so um, thank you uh, for watching of this video
in this in the next video tutorial I will show you how to make the assembly and render of these two parts from previous uh, video tutorial and this tutorial and we can uh, save also this 3d model in some directory for our hard drive so thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye